hello to machine and all words welcome back to kt sessions in one of the previous session we saw how can we send email uh, using gmail credentials and in today's video we are going to see how can we automate our outlook means how can we use outlook to send the email in our uh, dashboard so let's get started so this is the mailbox which i'm going to use in this video and you can see this uh, the sent items in the sent items we don't have any email uh. so let me go to control room then spell it we will search for email package and uh, at the end we can find this sent action and here we need to provide the two addresses and in cc bcc we can provide the email address however cc and bcc are optional we can uh, leave it blank also subject let it be and scroll down so when we scroll down we can see there are three options to send email one is we can send email via email server we can send email via outlook we can send email via ews server so in the in last week in that uh, previous video we used this email server to send the email with the help of uh, gmail credentials and for that we generated the app password similarly for outlook also we can generate the app password if you want to send the email with our uh, outlook id and also if you are a part of uh, or an organization and uh, you are uh, developing any business process for that organization or for your client so in that case you may have uh, some another uh, organization specific email or that uh, you are using some email server uh, which is the part of that organization only so in that case you will get the email server from your uh, network team or from your connectivity or any other team so you can ask them and uh, they will provide you the email server host by default the email server host for outlook is this one smtp-main.outlook.com and uh, if you as i said if you are part of any organization then uh, your uh, email server host could be abc. Uh, then it could be mail.abc.com like this and this abc will be the domain name or the whole email server host name and the server host will be 587 or it could be some any some another number 25 30 35 like that and all these settings you need to do as per your uh, uh, configuration of your mailbox so you can set uh, this as true or false and similarly you can uh, set true or false if your server requires authentication then you can set it as true and here you need to give the credentials of the mailbox which from which you want to send the email okay but in today's session what i'm going to use is i'm going to use this outlook and uh, in this you can see we have one more option outlook so i will select this outlook now we know no need to give any further inputs so your automation anywhere automatically will connect uh, with our outlook and it will send the email uh, and the backend they're using some apis or something so they will use that and they will send the email all right so let me show you how just make sure you are uh, using the outlook in your uh, system for example i want to run the bot on this system or on this remote desktop so that outlook should be available here in two address i will give this two address on which i want to send the email and a subset and in email body let me write something okay and let me save this and let me run the bot six hours later and let me open this mailbox kts work 97 on which we are going to receive the email so this outlook automation is very easy and simple process just make sure that outlook is present in your machine and you have configured your uh, outlook account so this gmail account is the receiver 
and this outlook account is the sender and let me open both so that we can see and here we go we can see in our gmail account we received an email and uh, in our outlook we can send one we can see one email in the send items so this is how we can use outlook in our task boards to send the emails thank you guys for watching this video to let me know if you have any doubt or any question in any of the topic of automation anywhere at 360